Go ahead. Uh, Greg, first of all, some of your thoughts on, you know, facing LAFC. You guys come up on the un un sure. unbeaten streak here coming to the match here. Yeah, I think, you know, honestly, I think records in these types of games aren't so important. I think they're, you know, they're derbies. Both teams are going to be emotionally into it and uh, going for it. They're still good at the things they're good at. They recover balls in good areas and they're going to attack you really fast and, and they're very dangerous in those situations. Uh, we've got to be clean when we're playing out of our half of the field to make sure that we don't give them those, those moments. So those things, for me, the vision of the game doesn't change a whole lot for what their strengths are and what we're trying to do. What we have now that's a little bit different than the past is, again, that speed and that dynamic part on the attacking half that maybe we didn't have as much of in past games against them. And so um, I'm interested to see where how that plays out, you know. But it's just a, I love having these games. Again, starting the season with the Miami was one of those games that just has everybody's attention and emotion. These traffic hoes have the same thing with uh, energy, emotion. You get the best out of players in this situation. And it's another, another test for us in what's been a series of tough games in the start of the season that we've managed pretty well, uh, and this is another another test. Coming off the clean sheet against uh, Seattle, how has the group developed? I mean, you got to look back from last year, how yeah. you guys struggled to keep good balls out of your net and to where you guys are now. What's been the biggest difference, biggest attitude, change, adjustment? Yeah, I think, you know, I think our box defending has been uh, extraordinary, to be honest, with the amount of times that opposition's been able to get into our box or deep into our half. Uh, the fact that we are like number two in the league and shots on target from inside of our box is a real tribute to the defensive work of our center back pairing, our back group of protecting ourselves. What we have to do is now we have to be better at, at preventing teams from advancing into our half so easily. We've got to be uh, you know, better in some of our attacking situations, better in our build out situations because it's been a little bit too easy in the last few games to get into our half of the field and be around our goal. Having said that, teams haven't been extraordinarily dangerous but they've been around our goal and that's the problem you can't survive doing that you know over and over so that's what we talked about this week and the solutions for that and you know we look good in, in those solutions and clear and so uh, this is a team that is number one in, in recoveries high and turning those into chances and that's something that we've got to be better at than we have been in the last few games and we're very mindful of that and we uh, we need to take that concentration. But the group has been resilient around the goal and defending situations. I think in the first few games, we were also better at teams allowing teams to, to advance on us. But the last few games, I think we've been really solid just around our goal dealing with situations. But we've got to decrease the accentuations, that's for sure. What can you tell us about the last season uh, comparing to this season that you are the Galaxies in the first place? This yep. time? I just think the uh, the dynamics around the club and the team and the energy and uh, also within the player group, but just as a whole, there's a lot more you know positivity. And I believe firmly in uh, energy around your club can also seep into everything that you're doing. And I feel like there's a confidence level, there's an enjoyment for the group. We have new pieces that also provide something different to our team that also add a different dynamic to our team that is exciting. Um, so a lot, a lot of things are different than where we were last year, to be fair, probably night and day, to be, to be quite honest. And, um, but we're also very aware after having last year how precious having momentum and having uh, these good dynamics going on, how precious it is to try to keep these things in your favor as, as much as possible. And so, look, as we, uh, as we approach this weekend, we know this is a, it's a big game and it's an exciting game, but this group is, looks forward to these types of moments and, and this is a great opportunity for us to see, again, going into their, to their building, it's not easy, so it's to see where we're at. You know the same situation as LAFC that is not doing good this starting season? Yeah, I think, you know, for me, I, I think they have a good team. I just think they've gotten off to, a, to different challenges, whether they're weather conditions in Colorado that disrupt a game and disrupt, so it's hard to get into a, a rhythm and a flow and then you you know you play a game in Colorado always challenges you in terms of some of those things and so they just haven't had a smooth entry into the into the season obviously they've gone through some personnel changes as well and things like that but uh, they're a good team and they're very good at the things that they're good at and you have to be mindful of that and you have to be uh, make sure that we take care of those moments uh, and then try to take advantage of the moments that we have because we know the things that we're good at as well so thank you uh, anybody on zoom Josh yeah, yeah, Greg. Do you have updates on Martin and and Jovlich? Uh Jovlich is trained all week. He's good. Uh, Martin is kind of. I would put him in the day today. If he's not ready, we won't 
we won't use him this weekend. Obviously, he's a little he's a little bit older, and we just want to make sure we don't put him uh, at risk. And we don't have a we have depth at the center back position coming with Jalen coming in the next couple of weeks and Garces coming in the next couple of weeks. Uh, but right now, it's I would put him in the questionable category. Just as as he's doing well and he's out moving around the field and he's been involved in things this last couple of days. But we just we're not going to risk him if he's not fully ready. So I put him at questionable with for this week and definite for availability next week. And we'll we'll see where we are over tomorrow. Did did the MRI come back clean on him? Is that is it that, did it no did it came back there? very very minimal. There's a tiny bit of edema, but nothing that it looks significant. And it's just uh, you still have a little residual kind of tightness. But he's he's been able to do most everything you just don't want to put them into you know high speed sprinting change of direction dealing with situations they're not the slowest team in transition moments that we would play against so it's going to require uh being ready in in those types of scenarios so again we'll we'll see where he's at tomorrow but it, i would just put him in questionable for now I yep. what? you moved gaston into the lineup but, but last week the week before i think why this time why was he ready this time again? Yeah, I think well, just ready at that time to go back to the starting line. Yeah, I mean for Gaston, I, I think he he had been making appearances from the you know from a reserve or substitution standpoint, and he was playing 30 minutes and 20 minutes and all those kinds of things. Physically, I felt like he was ready for a longer stretch of the game, and in order to get sharp and and to get to where you really need to be, you've got to play more minutes. And we know how important he is to our team, uh, so we we put him out there. Also, to be fair. We haven't really talked about Eddie's had a little bit of shin splint problem, so he's also had some uh, some issues. Just they're not debilitating, but they're challenging for him. So we've been working to get him through that, which he feels better too. So uh, now we feel like we have both guys that are ready to go. And Gaston was able to put 65 or so on his under his belt this week, um, which is going to help him get to maximum sort of fitness and sharpness and all that stuff. And we know he's going to play an important role. So we we have to keep pushing these guys forward. So. Anything else? All right. Thank you. Thanks, Greg. All right. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Greg.